inchworm to four to one kneeling push up. So this is a heck of a combo that's gonna crush the arms and fatigue the chest. So with our inchworms, we start with our feet straight forward like we're on a pair of skis. Little bend in the knees. I'm gonna roll my chin down the chest, roll it down the spine. As I walk my inchworm forward, I wanna make sure that my hips aren't bouncing at all. As soon as I hit my nice high plank shoulders down the back, core engaged, I'm gonna drop my knees. Notice how when I drop my knees from that plank shape, I have a nice straight line from the back of my head all the way to the bottom of those knees. From here, four, two, one, four being as we lower to the floor, two, a hold, one back up. So it goes like this, lowering four, three, two, one, hold two, one, press up, lift the knees, core is tight, no wiggling as I walk it back, big bend in my knees as I roll up the spine, so a little faster. Knees, or excuse me, toes straight forward, glutes and core active. So I come out nice and sturdy, no wobbling. From here, I drop my knees. Core is super tight. Shoulders are down my back. Imagining I have a two by four on my back. I hover for two, press it back up. As always with our push-ups, notice if you are dropping the chest, but not the hips. This is a good one to film yourself on because sometimes we're moving without even realizing it because it makes it feel like we're doing the same thing, but it's actually our body taking care of us and choosing the path of least resistance. So really make sure that your body lowers as a unit and maintains the plank all the way through the push-up. Have so much fun.